among Rwanda's specialty vegetables expected to expand its export base along snow peas and pepper. Welcome to the Ghanaian Farmer African Tour. This tour is purposely to project and promote African farmers and their success stories. This tour is in partnership with Rwanda Air and we are currently all the way in Rwanda. We are standing in a farm uh, called Exodus Farm. Yes. Yes. And the owner is called Die Donet. He's a French beans farmer and exporter. Here in Bugasera district, the main activity of the population is agriculture. So today we are going to be discussing French beans farming here in Bugasera district in the eastern province of Rwanda. My name is Enyonam and this program is proudly sponsored by Lizzie and Lee Tomato Mix. I'm calling for a quick break that when I come back, I would engage Die Done in a conversation. There is diversity within Rwanda French beans in that it can grow by strings that run along the mid reef of the port or have no such strand. Most modern varieties lack strings which make them tender at meals. Rwanda grow many commercial types of French beans including in the north is the leading area in total production levels. Farmers export the raw crop to Belgium, the UK, France and UAE. There are low processing facility for canning the harvested. For staying with me, if you're just tuning in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer, get interactive on our social media platform on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, The Ghanaian Farmer. Share your views with us. Thanks for joining me, dear Dode. Thank you, too. And thanks and for welcome. Having... Thank you. Thank you. When we say French beans, what exactly, what kind of crop are we talking about? We are talking about beans. They are beans. Yes, they are cultivated as beans. Okay. But they are harvested when they are still vegetables, not grains. Right. Before they put in the, the, the grains or the beans, then we harvest them when they are green and they are fresh. They are good, they are healthy, and they are rich in fibers. Okay. Good. How many varieties of French beans do you cultivate in Bugasera? We cultivate two varieties. Mostly one is called vanilla, okay. and the second variety is called star. So which one do you have in the farm? But here, today, we are having vanilla. Okay. They are, it's the one which is good and fine to the market and it has the international market. Okay. Yes. Right. In the whole year, how many times can you cultivate French beans, the vanilla? The vanilla, we cultivate... Because in, here in Rwanda, we can cultivate any time. Depending on the, the weather we have, the climate we have, and if you are able to do irrigation system, then you can cultivate every month. French bean lasts, uh, growing French beans, they take like, like 50 days, 50 or 52 days, you start harvesting. So you can plant every month for the consistency on the market. How many farming seasons do you have in Rwanda? Mostly three seasons three seasons of farming in Rwanda. The one starts uh, in September, another one starts in uh, um, January, Feb, Feb. Okay. and the, the third one mostly is called season C. It's a season for mostly vegetables for the sunny season. Okay. It's starting in May. May up to September when they start the, the other first one. All right. How do you come by the seedlings you grow? Where do you get them from? We get the seedlings mostly, we import them. Okay. They are not produced in Rwanda. Okay. The, seed, the seeds for French beans, mm -hmm. they are not produced in Rwanda. We import them. Okay. Mostly from Kenya. Right. Yes. How much does a kilo cost? A kilo can cost like $15. $15. So how many kilos do I need for the 10 acre or let's say, let me use one acre for example. Yes. For how many kilos do I need for just one acre out of the 10 acres? For one acre, you need to have like 50 kilos, 50 kilograms of seeds okay. to plant one acre of French beans. Right. That's the, 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 the number of kilos that you need on acre. 
Okay, now run me through the process. After you have your seeds, what next do you do before I see my French bees at this level? Mm. Before you, uh, you already have the land mm -hmm. and the seeds, then you start the farm preparation. Okay. The farm preparation you do the the, 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 if you can call it like laboring, you, right. you prepare the yes. land, land preparation, you do the beds, one meter, every meter bed, then you plant with the an estimation of four lines on a meter, four lines on a bed of a meter, okay. then 20 or 15 one centimeter between a seed and another seed. Then, in between the beds, you leave like like forty centimeters right. of the the path. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Which will help during the harvest or right. the other works in uh -huh. the farm. Okay. Yes. During the land preparation, do you also add some form of uh, manure, like of uh, course, chicken of manure yes. or cow dung? Because we do the same thing in Ghana. Yes. You do the same thing here. Yes, you have to do. Okay. You have to do it because the plant needs manure to grow. Okay. To, to, to develop their root system, mm. they should have manure inside before you plant. All right. Yes. What sort of soil tester do I plant my French beans on? Mostly sandy. Sandy, sandy soil. Okay. Yes. All right. So you said it takes 50 days it to take, grow. It takes 50 days. To grow. Yes. Okay. To be able to start harvesting. Okay. Then so, you harvest like eight times. All right, yes. you have it eight times. Eight How times. many kilos are you expected to carry from this farm at the end of the eight harvest? Like this is an acre, mm -hmm. one acre. When I'm harvesting, after the eight times of harvesting, I'm expecting like 20 tons, 20 tons of uh, French beans okay. after harvesting, okay. after the whole process of harvesting. Right. This might be, they are graded. We do the sorting, uh -huh. then we do grade one, grade two, grade four, grade three, depending on the quality. Right. And then it might take like, the total harvest might be 20 tons, okay. but different in grades. All right, we'll go to where you do the grading so you can show yes. me yes. how you do the grading. Yes. Okay, are there any form of infestation that affects the crops? The infestation. Pets. Like pests, pests. Yes. when you grow the crops, is there any disease outbreak? Mostly here, uh, the diseases we are facing, they are mostly viruses. Okay. They are not, they are viruses and uh, anthracnos, uh, we have anthracnos and rust. They are the most, the two are highly presented here. The rust and the anthracnos species. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So, how often do you check out your crop to see if they are in good shape? Every day. <laughs> Every day. Every day. Okay. French beans are flexible. Okay. They are highly, uh, they, they are highly attacked mm. with disease. Mm. So they need high level of supervision. Okay. You need to cross check, okay. just go around, check, check, check the leaves, check the the, 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 the the appearance of the new leaves coming, so that you can. No, is it fine or it's not fine? Like one crop might be affecting, then you, you uproot okay. or you spray if the, if the, for the cure or the, for the preventing. So it's better you prevent okay. rather yeah. than cure. I see. Yes. All right. How much do I need to invest into an acre of French beans farm? If you want to invest in one acre of French beans, of course, you should have. If you have your own land, mm -hmm. let me start with your own land. Okay. If you have land mm -hmm. or you have already leased your land, you need like, a, let me say, two million Rwandan francs. Oh, it's two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I see. And that two thousand dollars is for when I have my land. Yes. But if I don't have my land, how much am I expected to raise to cultivate one acre? In Rwanda, mostly one acre is uh, less than um, five hundred. Okay. Five hundred dollar. Okay. Leasing land for a full year. For a full year. Full year. Okay. Then it might be like three seasons of French beans. Okay. Yes. All right. And, and and would you say I would make profits at the end of the day, looking at what I've invested in? Sure. You can double. 
I'll double the profit. You can double the pro you can double the investment. Okay. In French beans. I see. Like if you can get like uh, the two, uh -huh. the two thousand I said, mm -hmm. you can have it like four or four point five mm. of 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 the income All right. from one acre. Okay. Now you you do not only sell the French beans in the local market. You also export it. Mm. Tell me about the export market and of course as against the local market. On the export market, we of course we've seen the first grade, the, the, the grade number one of the French beans. Mm -hmm. They are mostly exported in the Netherlands, and Belgium, and French, and, uh, and in France and England, the four countries of Europe. Okay. They are the one that receive French beans, but because uh, French beans are exported in fresh, in, in fresh states, states okay. they need to be quick mm. and they need to be packed well okay. to, to control their fragility. Okay. Yes. So when you harvest, how long then do you keep it with you before you send it off? To before three days. Three days. Three days. You need to go, direct it to the corridor rooms, mm -hmm. then do the processing and the packing. Okay. Then take them to the airport. Okay. And they went direct. All right. Yes. How how is the market locally also in Rwanda like? Locally, the market is not is it keep changing. Okay. It keeps changing because. There are times when people are cultivating, mm -hmm. when everyone is cultivating. Okay, there's a that bumper time, harvest. There's a yes, bumper, there's harvest, a bumper for, harvest for French beans. Yes. Okay. That time, they can pay like, uh, if I can say like 100, 200. It's like 0 0.2 dollar right. okay. on a kilo. Okay. Then later on, there's a, there's a, people can miss the harvest. Mm. Then they no harvest. Okay. Then the price the is The price high. get high. Okay. So for you to control, if you are doing business, yes. if you want to control the market, exactly. you need to be consistent on the market. Okay. That's point number, the, the essential ones. Okay. Because the other time when you can get like, uh, let me say in uh, Rwandan currency, like when you can get like uh, 200 per kilo, 300 per kilo, eight or 700 per kilo, then you compensate. Mm -hmm. So when you are consistent on the market, mm -hmm. then you have won the game. <laughs> okay, how many laborers do you have? More than 50. More than 50? More than 50. Okay, your farming method, is it mainly manual or there's a bit of technology or mechanized? There's a bit of technology in irrigation. Okay. Because we are doing solar system irrigation. Okay. We exploit both the sun mm -hmm. and the lake we are around. All right. But there is a, but if they come to land preparation, to the activities on the farm, they are done manually. All right. Yes. Now, climate change has been a problem, a global problem to every country. Yes. How is the global, how is the climate change situation like for farmers in Rwanda? We are affected, as any other in the world. We okay. are affected. Mm -hmm. Mostly they are rising of the diseases mm -hmm. due to the changes, the changes in um, climate mm -hmm. a lot of rain mm -hmm. a lot of rain mm -hmm. when it rain heavily mm -hmm. there's a growing of diseases okay the fungus right the fungus okay the fungal diseases. okay then there's a sun uh -huh. sun can be controlled right but when it take too long uh -huh. the expenses get high get high you you invest a lot right in the farm okay yes. dear Doné, i'm yes. wrapping up my interview with you but i'm told you're a journalist <laughs> and you've abandoned your profession <laughs> to become a full-time farmer what happened uh, i abandoned my full-time work of journalism mm -hmm. it was in uh, 2018 okay that's when i quitted okay kigali and left the capital right. to to Bugasera. here to do farming okay. <laughs> okay and how has been joining i is it worth it? Did you? Are you happy you quit that? Yes. Are you happy? If I'm to choose again, uh -huh. I might choose farming. Okay, so there you have it. If he is to choose again, he will choose farming. He yeah. used to be a journalist and he quit his job to become a full-time farmer. My name is Anyanwam and this is still the Ghanaian Farmer African Tour. We are in Rwanda but presently we are in a district called Bugasera District and it's mainly an agricultural uh, community. They do a lot of vegetables and other crops 
and we find ourselves in a French beans farm. Uh, he does export and also sell in the local market. He's taking us through the process, the method of farming and agriculture here in Rwanda. Now, still on the subject of French beans, report indicated that this commodity was largely exported to Netherlands and France and also some part of UK. And that's what he actually acknowledged. About 176,800 kilos of French beans has been exported to this European countries. Now, we caught up with an expert to share his view on French beans farming here in Rwanda and here is what he has to say. The performance of vegetable sector in Rwanda uh, is still growing, uh, not very perfect. As now we are trying to build the horticulture industry, uh, but uh, we hope to be somewhere in the next coming years. We have a lot of challenges that are affecting the vegetable production industry in Rwanda. Uh, one of the major challenges we have is the market. Like Rwandan population is very small and uh, the export market is still starting to grow. So the issue of market is hindering the vegetable production in Rwanda. Secondly, you have the issue of uh, input. Inputs are very expensive in Rwanda. When you look at the seeds, fertilizer, uh, when you look at the chemicals, uh, we are not manufacturing them, we import from outside. So it increases the cost of production that is affecting the farmers to frequently uh, produce. Uh, another factor is uh, mechanization. Like uh, in Rwanda, the level of mechanization has not been adopted. So the government is now putting uh, a lot of efforts in developing the mechanization sector. Uh, but when you look at uh, our landscape, it's a big issue. Like most of the places are hills. Uh, so uh, I think it can be applicable in, in some areas. Uh, currently, we are growing vegetables for export. We are doing French beans, we are doing uh, snow peas and sugar snaps. Uh, those are two major, but we hope to increase our line. Uh, we want to do baby corns, we will do uh, uh, cucumber. Uh, we are having a lot of trials in uh, spring onions. We want to do baby carrots. So some of the crops are still ongoing, but currently we are doing those two. Vegetable production is very, very uh, important because uh, when you look at the nutrition of the kids, we are, they are recommended to eat a lot of vegetables to fight against malnutrition. Secondly, uh, vegetables are uh, high uh, high, high crops. Those are high value crops. They, they fetch money within a small period of time uh, without waiting for long. So uh, it, it, we want to put a lot of energy and emphasis in vegetables so that we can uh, fight poverty within a short period of time. So that was it about the experts say when it comes to French beans farming here in Rwanda. You're still watching the Ghanaian farmer African tour proudly brought to you by Rwanda Air. Now if you are planning to travel to Johannesburg, Doha, India, Dubai and even here in Rwanda and across 80 other countries, you want to get in touch with Rwanda Air and also log on to www.rwandaair.com and make your enquiries 
and look at the affordable but very comfortable flights they have available to make your travel very very beautiful and lovely many thanks to also lizzie and leaf tomato mix for being part of this program now here in rwanda an average farm worker is expected to be paid around uh, one dollar a day we had a conversation a very brief chat with one of donets dear donet it's a French name, forgive me. Dear Donets, uh, farm workers, to find out how is the experience like working on a farm. Nitwa Ingabire Divina, Mazinaki Tanora Mumiteja, Mirimo Dukora Mumiteja, Turabagara, Tukaitera, Tukaisarura, Kumunsu Munayam Gama Frank, the home division. Many thanks for joining us on this episode on the Kenyan Farmer African Tour. There is many more to come from Rwanda for you to know if you're planning to come and stay in Rwanda and especially you want to invest into agriculture, which way or where to be considering to go. My name is Anjana, thanks for watching.